NFL champion Lionel Jelly Roll Dalton is known as one tough defensive tackle who dominated on the football field. But this former Baltimore Ravens world was turned upside down when he found himself in the fight of his life. Here's Lionel's story. Hello, everybody. It's been really draining on me and my family, dealing with this illness. I need a kidney, and it's been really rough and taxing on me and my family. I love Dallas. It's three days a week for five hours. Some days I don't have energy to play with, play with my, my younger children. He tweeting and getting the message out about the importance of organ donation, and hopefully one day I get someone who decided to donate to me. With dialysis, you have good days and bad days. It strips your body of a lot of the nutrients. It takes the good stuff and the bad stuff out. Hey, everybody. I received the call Wednesday. They found a match for me. I've been out of surgery now for about 24 hours. I just really want to Thank everybody for all your love and support for helping me get the word out there. Thank you guys for helping save my life. Lionel and Tiffany, welcome to the show. Hello. Lionel, let's get right into it. What what happened the day you were diagnosed? My blood pressure was at a stroke level and my oxygen level was very low. I was rushed to Piedmont Hospital where they uh, went on. I, oh, I went through it bunch of testing, some blood work, to a um, um, biopsy on my kidneys. The doctor came back and said my kidneys were functioning 17% and I need to get on emergency dialysis. And I started dialysis in January of 2020. And then at that point, Lionel, you got your diagnosis and wow, how, how did that diagnosis change your life? The first I called my wife and told her to make sure my, um, I had my or everything in order because I thought I was about to die. But uh, after doing research, I found out about dialysis. And I, um, I read stories of people living for 30, 40 years on dialysis. So it was stressful. It was stressful. It was hard. And um, it, it was draining. Well, Lionel, you got blindsided, but not on the football field, right? Right, exactly. Because this disease is very, um, you don't know until it's too late because it's like a quiet disease. And all you know, all, I'm, all I remember is itching. And I, and I remember being feeling lousy. And um, I wish I would have um, known about it earlier. I probably could have did something to combat it or slow down the process. But, uh, Tiffany, I mean, this wasn't just happening to your husband, Lionel. I mean, this impacted you, your family, your life. Tell us about that. Yes, it really impacted us on a very large scale. Lionel had to go to dialysis for five hours, uh, for three days a week for five hours. And, you know, right in the pandemic as well. But we put our trust in God and we continue to, you know, to push forward. 